Hello everybody. In our lesson for today, we are going to learn about compound inequalities. Compound inequality, it means group of inequalities. So more than one inequality in the same question. Uh, in our case, we will practice with two inequalities. Here we are going to find two different situations. But before we'll start, let me remind it to you that when you have to solve an inequality, when you will isolate the variable and you have to do times or divide by a negative value, do not forget to change the sign of the inequality. And at the end, graph the solution on the number side, on the number line. Let's see. So the two cases that you're going to find, let's say this is the inequality in the simple in the simplest form, the x, the variable is isolated already. So you will have x less than a and x greater than b. Uh, as I said, x it's isolated. When we will graph it, we put the two values a and b on the number line and we will shade on the graph x less than a, it will be from a into the left side goes into the negative infinity. x greater than b, from b I will shade into the right side. And as you see, two intervals, they are shaded. So the variable x, the value for x, it can be in this interval or it can be in this interval. So this is called the or situation, or case. In mathematics, the symbol for or is this one, which is called union. The other case is when the inequality is in simplest form. So solved for x for the variable, we have like this, x greater than a or x less than b. We take the a, b values and we plot them on the number line. And when we say x greater than a, it will be from x, from a and more. So from a more. And less than b, it will be from b less than a. So, as you can say, the two intervals, they intersect between A, B. So, this means that the solution, it will be between A, B. X, it's a value between A, B. In that interval, this is the interval. And this is called intersection and has this symbol. This is called intersection. So when we solve a compound inequality, we'll find one of these cases, or we'll get the or with two different intervals, or we will find the and with one interval. Let's see. Already the graph in this question, it is given, as, as, you, as you can see, two intervals, they are shaded. So they say, write the compound inequality. So then, I'm going to take the first interval from here. The variable let's say is x, it is changed from negative 4 into the left side, which means less than negative 4, and more than in negative 4, it is shaded. Negative 4 is shaded completely, which means equals. So x from the left interval, it is less than or equals negative 4. I have the right interval here. The variable, it will be the same because it's in the same uh, graph. So x is shaded from negative 1 into the right side, which means greater than negative 1. And again, in negative 1, it is full shaded, which means equals. So we have x less than equals negative 4 or x greater than or equals to negative 1. Instead of or, you can put the symbol union. In this case, it's shaded between 2 and 8. So then I have x less than 8. As you can see in 8, 8 is not shaded. It's opened and greater than or equals to 2. So x is from 2 and more and x it is less than 8. In this case, we have the intersection and yes. This is called the interval not inequality notation. We can write it in interval 2 closed to 8 open. 
And here we could do the same thing. For this one, I could write negative infinity, negative 4 closed, or negative 1 to positive infinity. So this is the inequality notation, and this is the interval notation. Both of them are going to be used. Solve the compound inequality and graph the solution. So we have here two inequalities. We will take it one by one separate and solve it for the variable which is given x. So I take the first one. 4x minus 1 greater than 3. So first of all, we solve the inequality. And to do this, we'll follow the same steps we used before to solve a linear equation. To isolate the variable, we'll do plus 1 on both of the sides. So it will be 4x greater. 3 plus 1 is 4 over 4 on both of the sides, we'll get that x, it is greater than 1. So this is the first inequality in the simplest form. I take the second one and solve it for x. So we have negative 2, open bracket, 3x minus 2, greater than or equals, negative 20. The operation between negative 2 and the bracket, it's a times. So I have a factor of negative 2 and here I have a negative 20. So I can use the distributive property to remove the negative 2 factor or simply it's a simple observation. 2, it's common factor between 2 and 20. So better than distribute, it will be easier for me to work with small numbers than big numbers, I will choose to simplify by negative 2 on both of the sides. It will be 3x minus 2, negative 20 over negative 2, it's a 10 positive. And take care, remember that when I divide or multiply inequality by negative, the sign of the inequality, it will be changed. And just now, I will solve for the variable. I will try to isolate the x plus 2 on both of the sides. It will be 3x less than or equals 12 over 3 over 3 on both of the sides. It will be x less than or equals 2. 12 over 3, it's a 4. So we found that x is greater than 1. From the first inequality, x greater than 1. From the second inequality, x less than or equals to 4. What is it left? Is to graph on the number line. The two values for x that we found, we'll plot them on the number line. 0, it is opened. We do not have the equal, so I put 0. 4, it is closed because we have equals to 4. And now we will shade the graph. x greater than 0. From the 0... I will go into the right side. And x, it's less than 4, so I will go into the left side. The two intervals, they intersected between 0 and 4. So then I can say x less than or equals to 4, greater than 0. Here we have the case and, because we got only one interval, this is called and. And I, could, I can write between the and uh, uh, symbol. This is the interval, this is the inequality notation. We can also write it in interval notation from the least value into the greatest one, 0, 4. So we shade it from 0 to 4, where 0 it is open and 4 it is closed. So I can write using the inequality notation or I can use the interval notation. Let's try more. We take the first one, 2. Open bracket 4x plus 3, greater than or equals to negative 10. So between 2 and bracket, it's a times. I have here 2, and on the other side, I have a negative 10. 2 is common factor, so I can simplify by 2. It will be left 4x plus 3, greater than or equals negative 5. 
I didn't change the sign of the inequality because when I divide it by 2, this 2 is positive. So again, remember, change the sign of the inequality. If the value you divide or multiply by, it will be negative. In this case, it's positive, so I will keep it. Solve for the variable, minus 3, minus 3. It will be 4x greater than or equals negative 8 over 4 over 4. I will find that x is greater than or equals to negative 2. This is the first inequality. Now I will take the second one. Negative 5 minus 15 greater than 5. Isolate the variable plus 15 on both of the sides. It will be negative. 5x greater than 5 plus 15, it's a 20, over negative 5, over negative 5. It will be x, 20 over negative 5, it's a negative 4. But I divide it by negative, so I have to change the sign of the inequality. This is the second inequality in the simplest form. And now we have to graph. From the first inequality, we found that x is greater than or equals to negative 2. From the second inequality, x is less than negative 4. We'll take them both values and plot them on the number 9. Which one is less? That one I put it into the left side because here we go less and less to negative infinity and into the right side we go to the positive infinity. Negative 4, it is less than negative 2. It is not equal, so I'll make it open. And negative 2, it is closed. And now I shade greater than negative 2. So from negative 2, I'll shade into the right side. And less than negative 4, I will shade into the left side. As you can see, we found two different intervals. So x, it can be in this interval or it can be in this interval. The symbol for or, it's the union. We also can write the answer, the solution. We can write it in the uh, interval notation. So I take the first one. I can take it from an inequality or I can take it from the graph. Easier for you, maybe it will be the graph. So negative infinity to negative 4. Infinity always it is open. Negative 4 it is open. Or from negative 2. To positive infinity. Infinity again always it's open and the two it is closed. So we have here inequality notation, we have the graph and we have the uh, uh, interval notation. Nadine plans to ride her bike between 12 meters and uh, 12 miles and 15 miles. So this is the number line. Here we have the 12, and this is the 15, which means between. So here we have the case. It's only one interval shaded, which means we have the intersection. So I can write x less than or equals 15, greater than or equals to 12. Thank you.